a client got in a brand new product. Uh, they just made it this week. Saskatoon and raspberry spread. It's going to be delicious. <clears throat> made here in Saskatoon uh, at the food center with fruit from the province. I'm pretty sure the Saskatoon berries from the... Well, I know the Saskatoon berries from the province. I'm pretty sure the raspberries are too. But they just came out with it. And we've, we're have going to put it on the website, obviously. And I just wanted to go through... Um, what we're going to do to promote the, the product so this is what we would do with uh, other clients as well with if they have products so we're going to take pictures of course and video probably just use my iphone or my other camera nothing fancy i'm not going to hire a photographer for this uh there's just no reason for it they're uh, a little too expensive for what we need to do uh, maybe one day we'll do a big product shoot but we've been doing very well with just the products sometimes i shot in the backyard sometimes i went to the streets in Saskatoon, took a few pictures. I'll put them on the website. Uh, we're gonna do obviously a Facebook ad, introducing the new product. Not sure if I need to do a discount. I've never tried this one before, but I might do a dollar off. Uh, it's a brand new product. I just gotta check the, the margins on it, uh, which many of you may know this already, but in food, there are not very good margins. So we don't mark up a lot. So we have to really watch our costs on it. Um, or I might do a discount if you buy three or more. So we might do a discount, three or more. Uh, we've been trying that. Uh, we, we use Shopify and there, there are apps that you can add to your Shopify store to have pop-ups and say, hey, you bought one, would you like to buy three and get a discount? Uh, I did it for one product, but I didn't use an app. I just put it in the description. If you buy three, you get a bigger discount. It's working. The app would probably work more. So we'll do some testing because the app is about 50, 60 bucks a month. We just have to make sure we get that much back to make sure it's uh, viable. I'm pretty sure it would be because they, they uh, the apps are specifically designed to do this well. So if you buy one, then something pops up and says, hey, if, if you buy three, you'll get a bigger discount, which, uh, and we know our average order value is between 30 and $40. So we know that people are spending uh, like buying at least two or three jars of stuff. So asking for three or more to get discount is pretty pretty normal from what our behavior is on the website. Maybe we might increase it to four or more to bring that average order value up a little bit. Uh, this is the lowest price product we have in the line. So um, it would probably require four or five to get into that zone or try to get above that zone to get, encourage people to spend more money and just offer a bit of a discount. So we're not 100% sure how we're gonna do it. And then of course, once we decide what we're gonna do, all we have to do is do a little picture, do a little video, um, might introduce us, put it on a piece of toast and show that, uh, have someone taste it on the street maybe, see what they think of it and have that as the video. And then just put that into the ad and run it to the city. We could also do some, uh, well, we'll run to the city for sure. We'll do free delivery. We're gonna be changing that soon. We're gonna be, we do free delivery if they buy one. So this product is retail $8. We sometimes we have a coupon out there. So it's not a lot of money to bring and then offer free delivery. We've been doing it just to get people into using the product. We might do a, an email to our email list through Shopify saying this is the last week of free delivery with no minimum purchase. But I think we're gonna change it to a minimum purchase probably somewhere in this range because this is our average order. So if they're ordering that, we should give them free delivery. If they order less than that, they won't get free delivery. So we might do like a $30 minimum purchase. They get free delivery. Um, you know, we kind of, I don't know if we've been delivering at a loss. Some trips we have, but usually we get enough orders that we're doing quite a few per day. So we kind of work it into our schedule to deliver them without adding too much of an extra cost. So I think that's fairly reasonable to offer free delivery, especially you know, uh, the way the world is right now, a lot of people are staying home. So off, we do offer free delivery anyways, but changing the minimum purchase, I think is gonna be fine. So we might not do that uh, with this order or this uh, promotion. So we'll run it to the city, we can do retargeting. So we can actually uh, send the ad to all the people that watched any of our content, uh, that engage with our, engage with our page, uh, it's connected to sh the Facebook pixel is on the Shopify store and it's all connected through the ads manager through Facebook. So we could say anybody who made a purchase, we can send them the, the new ad for the, I'll just put out here, the raspberry Saskatoon berry spread. It's a new product. We can run it to anyone that's done a purchase in the past. 
which is awesome because they know the purchasers through their data, their data, so we can run that ad for the new spread to them, which probably do really well because they're already buyers. We can send an ad to anyone that had ever has ever added to cart before, who may or may not have purchased because maybe they're we're looking for something different. Well, all the product we have is quite different, but this one is extremely different. No one ever combines. It's pretty rare where you f find somebody to combine uh, fruits like that. We could run to all website visitors. So we could retarget to them and we can lump this all into one ad set because we, you know, we're a small little business. So we could lump these uh, people that uh, are in these categories into one ad set. So Facebook will spend five bucks a day just running the ad to them. We could also, uh, the city one, we might do another $5 just spread it out to the city. Uh, we've talked about this many times before, but Facebook is really good at optimizing. So as they learn about our Facebook page and the more we spend money, they have data on our pixel to know who buys it, what kind of people, where do they live, that kind of thing. So we can run it to the city of Saskatoon, for example, but they'll have so much data, they'll optimize it and put it in front of people that are more likely to purchase. They're not going to start sending it to any random person in the city. They might do a little bit of that, but they might take a big chunk of that budget uh, to put it towards people who they know are more likely to buy our product or people who are more likely to buy online or people that are more likely to shop. They have they have lots of internal data to tell, to tell them where they will optimize. And that's the beauty of Facebook. They're always trying to improve, so we continue to spend money. Um, so Facebook has always worked for us. Sure, sometimes it takes a little bit of trial and error, but not usually a lot, because they really want you to be successful so that we spend more money, and it really is. So probably do one ad set to target all of, all of Saskatoon and, and then do one ad set over here. And ad sets are where you choose your targeting, uh, where you choose what city it's going to, what kind of interests or behaviors you wanna target, your budget, and then we do the ad and the ad part of it. Um, and then the campaign structure will probably do, well, we will, not probably. For campaign, because we have a very seasoned pixel, we're going to, I'll put that in here, seasoned pixel, we are going to uh, run it as a, um, conversion campaign hopefully you guys can see the bottom here we're going to run a conversion campaign for people that are more likely to make a purchase so they'll they won't send it to people that are more likely just to watch a video because they have that data they separated out they're not going to send it send it to people who are more likely to add to cart they're going to send the ad to people that are more likely to convert and our conversion value is to actually purchase or a conversion objective i should say so they're very good at finding the right people so we will run the ad to all the people that they think within this area or this area, which most of them already are purchasers, who are more likely to convert. It's pretty awesome. So that's our that's the way we're gonna structure this new ad. We're not gonna do print or anything like that. It's all gonna be done through Facebook. It's pretty amazing how well it works and we'll probably spend between five and $10 a day uh, for the ad to get, it, to get it going and then we can scale from there. One other thing I left out is we're going to do an email campaign through Shopify. So Shopify tracks all of our store purchasers. So we can send an email through Shopify to all the people that have ever purchased from us before. That's how they're on the customer list. Uh, we did that a couple weeks ago with a product that, um, that we weren't 100% sure on its quality. Like it was still very tasty and everything, but it might have been a bit thin. So we put that palette aside. And then we decided to send an email just to our buyers and say, hey, do you want this product for half price? And it went like crazy. I was delivering five, six orders a day for about two weeks uh, before Christmas and it did really well. We still have a lot left, so we might run it again. So email works really well because they're an email list of people that have already bought from us. One of my other clients, that's their number one source of sales or almost their number one is their email list. Once people get on that email list and their email list is built from buyers, from people that download certain information off their website and other things that they've done. They've done lots of contests in the past. Um, so, the, the, but they always work email list or, you know, you hear that email is dead. It's far from being dead. It's the number one asset that you can own that no one can touch. Facebook can't take it away from you. Nobody can. This email list is even more powerful because it's only people who have ever become a customer on the website. Whatever we promote to them, it usually works very, very well with a simple two minute email it takes me to make. So that's what we're gonna do with this brand new product. I just saw it in the warehouse when I went in there. I knew it was made, but I didn't know it was shipped already. So it's sitting right there, ready to go. Uh, it's, a, it's a beautiful uh, jam. And this is what we're gonna do to get it going to get uh, people buying the product.